Hello, welcome back to Chris's Beer Reviews. How are you? Hope you're doing really well. It's time for a beer review, and we're reviewing Modelo, or Modelo, Modelo, however you want to pronounce it. Modelo Especial uh, from Mexico. There it is. Coming in at 4.5% ABV in a 355 milliliter bottle. There it is, very gold, a lot of gold foil on the top. Uh, so, yes, yeah, out of Mexico, and this beer has. Uh, kind of upset the apple cart a little bit in the States because it has now replaced Budweiser as the number one beer in America, or certainly the number one lager, I'm guessing, uh, beating Bud Light as well. There's been a bit of controversy, isn't there, with Budweiser in the States, which may have helped towards a little drop in sales. Uh, so yeah, Modelo has replaced Budweiser as the number one beer in the States. Interestingly, I read an article the other day that the original owners of Budweiser and Hauser Bush family, uh, they'd like to buy the brand back from AB InBev. Can't see that being a bad thing, but yeah, apparently they have said if AB InBev want to sell the Budweiser brand, they'd like to be a first in the queue for that. I mean, it's a dreadful beer anyway, Budweiser. I mean, it is Budweiser in America the equivalent of our Carlin? I mean, it all sounds like a Budweiser video, this doesn't it? And maybe I could save that for another chat, but are they like? Our Carlin in America, just a dreadful beer that just sells to the masses. God knows why. And is this another one of those beers? Is it just another mass produced lager that's got to be fairly bland and boring, but sells huge amounts? I can't remember how much I paid for this. It was a four pack in Lidl. I only bought it today. I think it's about four quid. I don't think it was particularly expensive, uh, but there it is. Uh, no head. Head's gone. Not a huge amount of carbonation, golden in colour. That's certainly nothing exciting to look at in this beer that's replaced the Budweiser as the number one. Aroma wise isn't too bad for a clear glass bottle. It's got a little bit of a citrusy hit to it. But not much else going on. Not the greatest beer to look at that one. Let's get st stuck in with it and see what's going on. Cheers. It's just mass-produced stuff, isn't it? <sighs> um, we have another mouthful. It's better than Carlin, but most things are. I mean. <laughs> It is just another generic mass-produced lager. And the same with America, as in the same as in the UK. There are some fantastic breweries in America, probably some of the best in the world, producing some amazing beers, just like we have in the UK. But then we have nonsense like this, like we had the Carlin and the Fosters and the John Smiths in the UK. The Americans clearly have the same issue with loads of crap and mass-produced mass beer. Uh, Budweiser being one of those, utter rubbish. I know we're looking at Modelo, and, and again, it... <sighs> It's not particularly great. It's quite clean. It's got quite a crisp finish. There's a little bitter finish. It's quite malty, sweet, sweet maltiness. There's a little bit of citrus going on. Uh, it's better than Carlin. I'll give it that. It's better than Foster's. I'll give it that as well. But it's nothing exciting. It's nothing to shout about. It's nothing that would prompt me to go out and buy a few more of these. But it's not dreadful, dreadful. It's just not, it's just not great. But I'll tell you what it is. What it is, is a barbecue beer. Really hot day, barbecue beer. That would probably be all right. And I'll tell you what else that would probably go with as well. That would probably go really well with a curry. Cobra lager is nowhere near the same as it used to be. And Cobra used to be synonymous with having an Indian, didn't it? It's not anymore, it's just not a good beer cobra anymore. But this, I reckon, because it's got a bit of a citrus hit to it, a little bit of a lemony citrus, would probably go quite well with curries. I'd have that with a curry. I'd have that with a curry, I'd have it at a barbecue, if I didn't need to think about what I wanted to drink, and I just wanted to have a few refreshing lagers, because it is quite refreshing and crisp, then I'd have that if it was there and someone was giving it to me. I wouldn't go and buy it for that reason. I might buy it for a curry, actually. 
Yeah, that's a good curry lager, is what that is. So there you go, there is the biggest selling beer or lager in the US right now, taking over Budweiser. There you go, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, nothing else I can say. If you've had it, stick something in the comments. I'll see you all on the next one. Take care, bye now.